get ready to go to get all my um, stuff uh, name changed my driver's license bank and Medicare today so hopefully that goes without well, hopefully that goes well without any problems and all that mm, I strained my oh, neck I was like oh god <laughs> Straight leg, I was commenting in the morning, I was like, hey, you know, I think I was straight leg. I strained my neck. Um, well, yeah, I might also get some makeup. I want to get a NARS uh, foundation and concealer. So, damn it, I need to get this foundation situation sorted out and all that. Mm. Yeah, it's like on the top, like what the laser did was it sort of like um, stopped it from growing out of my skin, but you can still see, I think the hair, the, the starting part might be inside, you know, the hair follicle, it might have a little bit of hair, that's why it looks like that. I just so uh, troubling. You know, here it's mostly gone. Hair is like, oh, I can't turn my neck. Oh, oh, oh. Anyway, so yeah, around these, these, this area is mostly like, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, around this, this part is a bit. I had electrolysis done here, so. Ah, anyway. Uh, oh, uh, anyway, so. I do my makeup stuff. Oh. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with my makeup? And look at this. Oh my god. Oh, the fucking lights. Jesus. Oh my god. It just, it just makes me look like a fucking cloud. Oh my god. Oh, my neck, it still hurts. Oh, God, it's just... This is, uh, my body is a bit like, it gets sore sometimes. <sighs> uh, so, uh, I'm going to be leaving in about an hour. Uh, hopefully, yeah, hopefully things are going to be okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A little bit better, more bearable. Then look there, it's okay. But, um, harsh lighting conditions. Mm. Ah. 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 Anyway, so, yep. Uh, what else do I say? Oh, yeah, I don't know if I'll take videos when I go out. Mm. I don't know, I may, I may not take, but, uh, yeah, I'll probably make a video when I come back. And then I'll upload this video. Yes. Okay, there's this funny song called On Only Anally. <laughs> it's just, it's, I think it's made by a uh, drag queen performer called William Belly. So I might like that song. It is just freaking hilarious. <laughs> Anyway. All right. Okay. Yeah, but the, uh, the I used the lip pencil for this. The lip pencil and the lipstick seem to go very well. You know, so, oh, I, I think I got to put um. See, that's a bit dark, dark in there. The edges of my mouth. I think I put some concealer there. <sighs> Man, all these little things. It's like oh. Yeah. Anyway, so. It looks really horrible here, yeah, but it's not that horrible. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and get a good concealer and foundation. So, all right, man. Okay, I'm home. 
it's very stressful. So I did the uh, driver's license, I did the bank, I did the uh, Medicare. Yeah, they did require the change of name certificate. The one thing that really bugs me right now is the fact that because my gender is still registered as male, the title they put is Mr. <laughs> so it's like Mr. Irizati, and I'm like, oh god, the, that Mr. ruins the name. I want it to be Miss. I find that really depressing, man. It's like it takes all the fun out of the name and it just totally ruins it. <laughs> and I actually told uh, some of us um, when I was having the bank details change, I told her, well, then I'm, I'm you know, transitioning to a new gender and then, or a different gender. Anyway, so I mentioned that and she goes, well, until you get your, you know, legally done, we just have to leave it this or something. And I'm like, oh, come on, this is really stupid. I mean, uh, why does the title have to be Mr. I mean, that just doesn't, it just sucks. I mean, in Australia, I mean, in New South Wales, really backwards, like, they want you to have a gender confirmation surgery. I don't really, I really don't know what that means because it could refer to SRS or it could refer to orchiectomy. I guess because, you know, they're trying to include both men and women, so women might have to, you know, have breast surgery or whatever. Well, obviously, the bottom surgery for from female to male is very complicated, and it's not not many people go through with that. So, I mean, the high court basically decided in in that case, that famous case recently. Oh no, no, actually, some other case. Anyway, um, no, that was in Western Australia. But anyway, the point is, uh, I think this New South Wales statue, when they say gender confirmation surgery, I think you can include orchiectomy in it, because um, orchiectomy meaning removal of the testes. Uh, you know, it's, it's a way of confirming your gender, but it's still it's still kind of re regressive. I mean, if you go to the UK or in some American states or so on, or maybe in Europe or whatever. They don't require you to go to surgery to have, have your gender change. They, they may only require you to perhaps, you know, take hormones or have a recommendation from a psychiatrist. So here it's like, this law is so stupid. I mean, um, the ACT, Australian Capital Territory, which is a much more progressive kind of a state, there they don't require you to have any surgeries to change your gender. You can just change your gender by having some kind of recommendation from your doctor. You need a doctor's, probably a doctor's or psychiatrist's uh, statement or something and then you can change your gender. But There is potential for a legal case. <laughs> there was already a legal case where this person wanted to have register their sex as unspecified and they won in the high court. So and that's you know registering on the in the birth death certificate and whatever so i think there's a potential for some legal stuff here anyway so i don't want to ruin my day i did my stuff i, I went to all three agencies uh which i wanted to get done and um yeah when i was walking in the shopping mall you know i saw some guy looking at me and laughing I'm like oh, fuck you <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was thinking. <sighs> anyway, fuck it. I don't want to think about it. Uh, I'm not going to let this world bring me down. I want to stay positive and I want to just mm. clean myself and all that. Mm. <laughs> that was such a manly way. Male way of doing things. Anyway, so I went to Mecca. Mecca Maxi. And yes, I. I asked the girl to help me. God damn it, I tried some shit on my neck. Uh, yeah, some of them are really dark. Yeah. Anyway, so, um, Bobby Brown, Skin Foundation, SPF 15, $68. Very expensive for us. For a skin foundation. Well, it's Golden 6. We tested it on my hand. It seemed to. 
It's huge. I want to get the Nars, but uh, she doesn't have a good shade in the Nars. It's weird. I don't know why. I don't know why. So it sort of comes in this stupid boxy thing, which is in there. So this is my second Bobby Brown product. The first is my lipstick, which I have had a package in there. So that's how it looks. Bobby Brown. Its uh, shade is golden. Seems to. They tried it on there. Oh, fuck, come on, focus, you stupid, stupid. Uh, anyway, so you can see it. Yeah, right around. It's just. Um, it's like a nice bowl. Very high, kind of like a high end product. So, yeah. Hmm. So I'm going to be trying these. You know, these foundations, they last a while, you know. So, yeah. Not bad. And the second thing I got is this NARS NARS concealer. NARS concealer. This is a, and this was like $36. So, both of them are like $104. So, this two products. They, these are like high end kind of products. So, yeah, I'm going to try the concealer. The concealer. The concealer. The concealer. I'm going to. I wanted to think under this horrible lighting, it doesn't matter what I put in. No, it's just something this thing like this. And this is the thing, it's like a chalk. It's like a. <laughs> it's like a blackboard chalk. <sighs> so it's got a. Let's get the nurse thing on it. Come on, focus, you stupid dumb. Anyway, yeah, you can see it. So, yeah, it just looks like that. Also, nothing there. So, let me open this. What color is this? It's medium, medium to ginger, medium to ginger. So it's like a, it's like a lipstick kind of thing. So yeah. So basically, you take it and you apply it here, 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 here. And you know, I don't know how long this will last, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but so we tried it. Man, it seemed to work there. So there you go. Two products: foundation, concealer. Hopefully, this will help alleviate my foundation problems. Hopefully, well, let's just see how it works. <sighs> anyway, so tomorrow I gotta go to the um job center, and I gotta go to sent a link to yeah you know, tell them I changed my name and well, I'm gonna update my bank details with them and after that I gotta actually go in and update my details with the university. Yeah so that's gonna probably do that later. Um yeah I'm also I also I think I wanna make an appointment with the gender the gender vendors <laughs> And because I want to talk to a counselor about you know this whole gender change thing, what what uh, what does the uh, what kind of surgery is required and all of that. Yeah, so some things to do. Um, but you know I got some things done today and it was good. So okay, so uh, I'm just gonna.